In this video, I show you how you can add, edit, and manage closed captioning for Adobe Captivate when publishing to YouTube. Okay, first off, I want to apologize for my voice. Uh, I have a little bit of a head cold, but I really want to get this question out there for, uh, pardon me a moment here, for Patrick. Patrick uh, emailed me and uh, he says, thank you so much for the reply. Your course helped me a lot. Question one, he wants to publish a video to YouTube, something I know about, but when I publish it, it doesn't publish with the subtitles. No problem. Question two, any advice for long 80 minute classes doing subtitles or just listen and type? When I add text for subtitles, I have to move the start point in about 10 spaces in anyway. Uh, can you default for this, I guess is what he's asking. So Patrick, I have good news for you. Well, maybe good and bad news. We'll see how you take it. Um, as all of you know, I put up a lot of videos on Adobe Captivate to YouTube. That's literally what I do. Um, and the one thing I can tell you is that when you're working within uh, Adobe Captivate, all that work that you put into putting your closed captions into the, the notes area, uh, the notes panel, uh, that's not going to go anywhere when it comes to YouTube. In fact, anything that, that has to do with interactivity, pretty much, uh, is lost. Because all YouTube, when you publish to YouTube, all you're getting is a video representation of your uh, Adobe Captivate project. So I'm on my, uh, my Paul Wilson Learning and Design YouTube channel page. And if you are signed in uh, to your YouTube page and you are a YouTube contributor, you'll have the option to go into Creator Studio by clicking on the icon that represents you in the upper right hand corner. So I'm going to do this right now. And that's going to bring me to uh, my dashboard. Now specifically, I want to look at the, the videos themselves. So if we get into, uh, let's say my latest video here, I can click on edit. And um, what we have is a tab called subtitles and closed captioning. And this one's set up to do automatic. And if I click on that, you'll see all of the stuff has already been entered. Now, I personally don't go in and edit these. I find that they're good enough. No one's complained. But if you are particular about this, you can actually edit all of this text here and even put it out to the community to edit it for you. So if we play this video and you won't hear the sound, I didn't enter any of this in. This automatically happened. Justina Sharma from India. She wrote, so it's pretty accurate. So, you know, it's, it's really accurate. And if I wanted to edit something that was, uh, I haven't done this before, if I select one of the items um, and I can go in and edit it, and then I can actually type in the text for that little section of the video. So in this video, we're going to do some tab content with advanced actions. I didn't say OK until after the theme music, so maybe I could delete that. And then, you know, once I exit from that, all changes so here's the edits that are you know and i can select that and go back in and edit it some more so i think this might actually answer both of your questions for you this is a great way to to manage the closed captionings within youtube and then you don't have to worry about you know putting them forced on the screen and of course users will be able to see your closed captioning by the settings that they select when they're watching your YouTube videos. So Patrick, I hope that answers your question. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was useful, helpful, or otherwise, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.